Hey Gavox here, it is that time again to do the best theme teams in the game. Now these are theme teams with the theme team boosts. Um, we can do another video on best like original theme team ideas. Maybe put those in the comments and I can do that later. Um, but maybe that's another video. This one's by team. So shout out to Accidental Juke on uh, Mudhead for putting together the theme teams and keep them updated through the year. Um, now, I don't know, stuff is going to come out tomorrow, but we're just doing this Saturday with the new Ultimate Legends, because there's always more cards coming in the game, this is always updated, it's, it's flowing, maybe I'll do it another couple months or so, uh, but last time we did this about a month and a half ago, uh, a lot of things have come out since then, we've had MVP, so two for every team, team builders, and uh, free agents, so a lot of cards came into the game for each team, focused around theme team building, so I think it's right after those two end is an appropriate time to do these theme teams, so let's get through it, we are going to do... A 32 to 1 ranking of these bad boys. If I can... There we go. 32. All right. So who is... Who are the worst theme teams in the game at the moment? Um, I just got to set this last up. All right. So the worst one in the game. Um, sad as they've been here. This is twice in a row the Cardinals have been the worst. Now, why are the Cardinals the worst? And I apologize for the length of this video, but we're going to go in-depth into these theme teams. Um, so... Offensive line, you've got some holes there at the center right guard. Uh, you can't really fill them with anything too competent. Your tight end's terrible. You don't really have playmakers at wide receiver. Fitzgerald's a little slow. You do have good receive, uh, running uh, running backs that you could put a couple of these guys. And I am going to rank them with Le'Veon Bell and Earl Thomas. I don't love it overall for the health of the game. I do love it for the Steelers theme team, for my personal one that I run a lot. Uh, because they desperately needed that free safety spot until we get like a Carnell Lake type or something like that. Uh, Troy Palomalu to sh uh, shore up those safety spots uh, were stuck. So, uh, but overall, for it, I, I didn't love the execution of putting Le'Veon Bell and Earl Thomas in each theme team. I thought it was hacky. That's why I don't like creative players in Mutt. I don't never want to see creative players in Mutt. If they do, it's just a terrible decision. You know they're listening to dumb people. Uh, Josh Rosen, terrible quarterback. This game is focused around quarterbacks and having somebody that bad leading your squad. Uh, is a major hole. The defense, you're going to see this across the game. A lot of good defenses, with some teams having worse than others, of course. Uh, but the Cardinals do have a good secondary. It is one of their strengths. Their defensive line is, is fringe average. Um, and the linebacker core is uh, pretty decent there uh, with Hicks and then pass, rushing the passer with Suggs. So, uh, overall, um, really, as you see, this is actually, like, you could play with it. You're not going to have fun with Josh Rosen as your quarterback. But there are no theme teams that are, like, completely unusable anymore. Um, of course, Cardinals is as close to unusable as possible. Um, and to follow that up, the Jags, although they just got a new quarterback, and uh, we'll show that in a second, the Jags themselves are also not improving from last time. So after every single one of these teams, these two won't have it, but I'll have a ranking for how much they went up and down. These two didn't change from last time. Terrible tight end. Um, your your line is, is okay. You got only one sore spot, and 89 is an okay fringe right tackle right now, especially, I mean, like, you're going to be going against, like, the Curses, the LTs, the Kevin Greens of the world, it's not going to be a good time having an 89 tackle, so, that is, I, I guess to say that's below average, your wide receivers, I, do they even get sprinter, I, I don't know, so you only get that plus three speed, you do have a Foles now, you no longer do work with Bortles with that signing, uh, you're running back, like I said, every team's got bounce, I don't even know if I'm going to mention that going forward, same with free safety, uh, you got a gold that you're going to put in Gibson there, your linebacking core is decent, probably below average, I'd say that is, though, um, and your, your D-line is also whatever's. Uh, you got Campbell's good, and you're, you got two starting cornerbacks, which are very good. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's, that's, that won't be a fun team to play with. All right, so number 30. Now, this one actually went down from our last ranking. Who is it? The Bengals. The Bengals. Yeah, they're kind of in transition phase two as a franchise in the NFL. We'll see where they go with the new coach going forward and whatnot. All right, so here we are with Mr. Bojangles. Good offensive line. You got one major hole there in the middle. Tight end Eifert's good enough. Uh, John Ross, Owens, Chad Johnson, great wide receiver core. Dalton is a huge hole that you don't want to have. Um, your uh, safety, it's okay, I guess. Your linebackers are piss poor. Uh, your front uh, front three or four, again, about average. And your 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 uh, darky is that Denard? That is uh, not anything special there too. But you got one. You only got one. Um, cornerback that you jumped in front of the Steelers to grab frustratingly a few years back in the draft. All right, next up, number, because we got stuck with that, was that Artie Burns? Fucking Artie Burns. Uh, Dolphins, you are number 29. You guys also lost one spot from our last ranking. You can tell the guy who was 30th boosted up a little bit. Uh, we'll get to them in a hot minute. So, Dolphins, 
93 overall. Obviously, this chart has all the overall, so it's close. Um, obviously, the cards, the ones that are higher overall, Rams, Patriots, Packers, Panthers, those ones are going to be higher on the list just because they have more talent across the board. But sometimes the overall doesn't show the full meaning of the team. All right, so this one, we already looked through the Bengals, the Dolphins. All right, only one real sore spot and another one kind of eh, 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 eh. Your, your tight end is good. I think he's pretty decently fast. I used this Dolphins theme team. Uh, I didn't have a lot of trouble moving the ball. Uh, but, uh, you know, with a, with a sprinter and a theme team boost, they're pretty good. Marino, it's terrible. Pocket passes in this game are not ideal, but he's not going to, like, let you down. Uh, but, yeah, he's not a good your linebacker. is a piss poor. Uh, Earl Thomas, Jones, and good DB core, I'd say. And your front uh, front rushers are, are also very good. So that's why you're kind of 29th. Like, this is kind of like, you're like, oh, that's a pretty solid team. Yeah, they're all pretty solid. It got a lot harder to rank these teams because they're all pretty solid across the board because, um, you know, when EA, when you focus on something, EA, uh, EA focused on it. They made it better for everyone. All right, Lions. You also lost a few spots too. Huh. All right. So let's go to Mr. Leones. What are you at? You are at a 91 overall. Okay. And bad, bad, fringe bad, pretty stuff. They'll get, so your offensive line's poor, very below average offensive line. Your wide receiver core is a bunch of studs. Four straight studs. Stafford, it's kind of like a mixed, not like super mobile. Great tight end, though. You're going to move Glover Quinn over to strong safety. You're, you're, so your CBs and your wide receiver are the strength of the team. You're, you're, you, got Darian, you got two good defensive tackles, but your ends are lacking. Um, and then you got uh, Whitehead is basically your only linebacker that's worth a damn. So obviously you got some other decent guys. You know, there's everybody, like in the mid-80s are usable players. They're just not exactly like guys that make a, take a theme team to the next level. They'll be usable though, um, so don't get it too, too mixed up, too um, twisted. Number twenty-seven, a team that took a big step forward. The Browns. Now did they only go up three? Were they thirty? Yeah, they were thirty. So they went up three. So they don't leap these three. And you can maybe argue if you really like the Browns. You could argue them higher, and I wouldn't be against that. Obviously, if you guys have any disagreements with me, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Um, you got a great offensive line, except your left tackle is going to be eaten alive by Lawrence Taylor. Um, maybe you can move Treader out. Njoku's uh, solid uh, tight end. Not really like a top 20 tight end in the game, though, even with the boost. Landry, oh, you got one good receiver. Jarvis ain't bad, though. Don't look down at him. Otto Graham's a mid 80 speed quarterback. Which of, of course will will uh, you know play for a lot of guys. A lot of guys like using them. Um, your your running backs are fine. You know without Le'Veon Bell, that would be a, a, a major kind of downside. Chubb's not bad though. IRL is better than he is in Mutt though. Your safeties move Randall over there. Um, okay, I guess you might just leave Peppers. Peppers is good, athletic. Your linebackers are very good there. Top three linebackers are they game changing linebackers? No, but they're very. good great top end linebackers like let's not get twisted there's no lt but they're gonna perform your front your front is great with sheared and garrett um sheldon here in the middle can hold his own ward is solid i think he's a little bit does he have enough zone yeah he does have enough zone once you put it on uh, pretty good pretty good card right there so uh, a decent team overall i like it but you are um lacking a couple playmakers and offense that i really you really do like, like look when you look at competitive players they always stack their offenses. So the way I ranked this was, if you have a very fast mobile quarterback, say a Mike Vick, a Donovan McNabb, um, a Lamar Jackson type, that gives you huge points. If you have wide receivers that can hit that 99 speed, that can basically make all the routes, uh, the Megatron types, like I saw on the Lions, um, those are guys that are going to boost your score a lot. Tight ends, definitely needed a tight end. Offensive line is probably the worst group. Like If you, go, if you have a bad offensive line, I can forgive that more than having a bad quarterback. Um, then defense... It's really nice to have high-end guys and, and kind of, I rate secondary as the most important linebackers, then D-line. Um, it's kind of like the orders of importance there for my um, rankings. But of course, there's always some differences. Oh, geez, did I, is my green screen off? Okay, there, much better. Um, so that's kind of like the orders of importance that I rank it. So that's kind of why you look at the Browns, you're like, oh, they got a lot of good uh, playmakers and stuff, but they don't really have uh, a third receiver. I mean, he's fine. You got you got a top top stud Odell, but you know Odell doesn't need the theme team boost to be a stud. And then your tight end is kind of disappointing. Uh, but Landry's good though. Uh, don't get me wrong, he's just not like top tier. Uh, so 
Next up on the theme team ranking, a team that took a little bit of a tumble, the Bills. Now, the Bills, you could you can maybe say, um, maybe you take Browns over them, but this Josh Allen, oh, wait, wait, hang on. This Josh Allen card, it, it's, it's, Josh Allen cards this year, like, ever since the last couple cards, probably some of the most underrated quarterback cards in the game. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it for how good that is. That's 89 speed, plus you can add sprinter, plus you can add theme team cam. So this is a 95 speed quarterback um, when all said and done with uh, Madden, sprinter, whatnot. Um, so that's a great quarterback there. Um, your, your, your wide receivers, your, your weapons are also phenomenal. Um, of course, running back. Your tight end is terrible, though. You're, you got a couple holes on the offensive line, especially the left guard spot. Your defense is pretty darn good. I mean, uh, like overall, it doesn't have any major holes. You know, maybe your right outside linebacker could be considered a hole. But you got Edmonds, Brown, two good users. You can move one out here, then user Edmonds. And then uh, Hyde, Earl Thomas. Poyer is okay. And then uh, two solid. White is fast, but not really smart. So that's kind of a hole there. And then you got Bruce Smith you can put over here at left end with Jerry Hughes uh, in the middle. You got 289D tackles, which aren't really that impressive. Um, all right, switching back. So they're, they're 26th. But, yeah, they got they got some playmakers. 25th, another team that took a, a, a little bit of a downfall, even though they're a playoff team. They kind of punched, punched beyond their weight this year. It, at least to me, it felt that way. But maybe Colts fans would be like, no, they, they, they punched perfectly fine. We'll see what happens. They'll have a tougher schedule this next year. I'm not sure. But... Colts theme team. You got a hole at right guard, a uh, decent size hole at right tackle. You got two good tight ends, uh, bordering on great. What you're going to do is sub in Dallas Clark as a wide receiver number two. But yeah, the weapons at wide receiver are a little bit lacking outside of T.Y. Hilton. Uh, but you do have uh, Luck and Bell to kind of make up for it a little bit. Your secondary, two good DBs or s safeties. CBs are solid overall. Um, your linebackers, uh, again, a good, a good group there, at least those four. Um, and then D-line is okay. You just don't have an interior pass rush at all or run stuff at all. So that's why I put Colts at 25. Um, they, they, all these teams definitely all have um, weapons, like I said. So, but Colts, nothing too like inspiring. But all these teams now have like 99 speed receivers, at least one of them. So moving over to the Giants being next. Giants, where you at? 94 overall. Giants. Major hole at center, right tackle's another hole uh, with a with a okay left guard with another two, right guard, left tackle, good. Tight end's great. Wide receivers, great stuff right there. Eli Manning is probably the reason why you're this low on the list. Um, not mobile, not that great, and it's Eli. Maybe he's only good in the playoffs. Vernon, you can move him over here, but then you got good linebackers. You got like an absolute game changer in Lawrence Taylor, but you know, this Lawrence Taylor's as good as Thanksgiving one, right? Or just about... So that's it. Is this, how, how fast can Lawrence Taylor get up to? Can he get up to 99 speed on the theme team? Probably pretty close, right? Um, upgrade. I just add six onto every single guy here. Yeah, he can get up to 99 speed on the theme team. So that's pretty game changing. I don't know, 99 speed pass rusher, linebacker. You got Bethea if you run nickel packages to sub in there too. Woo! Bethea and Ogletree next to each other and like a nickel normal. That's probably what you would do. Pierre Paul at right end, Strahan. With Harrison and Linval in the middle. Nickel normal. Uh, you might be struggling at CB3, though. But overall, I, I like that defense. But I think the only thing that really brings down this team is uh, Eli. I mean, he, you guys know, right? Like, Eli's, Eli can manage it. But with a porous offensive line and a guy that really can't run? I don't know. All right, because we're getting like we're getting into good theme team territory. 23, the Chargers. Charge them right up. Book them, boys. Throw the book at them and charge them with everything. Offensive line. Very poor offensive line. This is, this is, a, you gotta be Philip Rivers for this. You gotta, or Drew Brees. You gotta get the ball out quick here. Um, basically, toss it around as quick as possible. And Allen's good, but your receivers aren't like studly. Winslow's solid. Hunter Henry's good run blocker. Um, oh, Winslow, I mean, Winslow's very good, not just solid. Derwin James needs a new card, but he's good, though. Weddle, a little slower than you like to see. Earl Thomas, of course. Every team's got Earl. My name is Earl. Your name is Earl. Everybody's Earl! Uh, linebackers, meh. Fringe average. Defensive line, Deacon, Bosa, Ingram. So you'd probably move Deacon to the interior, but Bosa on the edge. 
You're still gonna miss like in a 4-3. Because these guys are these are 4-3 defensive linemen, this Bosa and Ingram. You're gonna want to have a defensive tackle there too, and you don't really have anything any uh anything any good right there. So that's tough. You mean maybe maybe uh use use Isaac in the middle? Um your your team of the year, uh Hayward and King. Fair. Um, fair. I, I think they'll perform pretty well for you, though. So overall, like the defense is not the most inspiring thing, and you got an immobile quarterback in a pocket surrounded by linemen that don't really like to block. Um, so that's where the Chargers are, are 23 on the list. Number 22, and I could definitely see the Chargers. You can easily make an argument to me that said the Chargers should be lower than they are, um, but they, ha they have some weapons. They have some decent stuff there. Uh, Titans at 22. Now, this is, this is one of the mobile quarterbacks that we love to talk about so much. Titans, the only issue with this mobile quarterback is that he isn't like the most accurate mobile quarterback, right? Mariota's good, but... Oh, let's use the upgrade card. Um, Mariota's good with the 92 speed. You get him up to, what, 98 speed? Throw power, you could probably get that up to 97, 98. And deep, yeah, I guess he gets there. Throw on the, throw on the run, throw under pressure. Beautiful, too. Yeah, maybe I underrated Mariota um, for his accuracy and stuff. And, I, and maybe I will say Mariota... Especially with the speed and throwing power boosts. He's as good as Mike Vick, Lamar Jackson, those kind of guys. Um, so maybe maybe uh, I underrated the Titans theme team, but here's the thing. Good offensive line, one hole and a minor hole. Great uh, tight ends for blocking and shit for Walker. Corey Davis is not good. Humphrey's not good. Randy Moss, amazing. So you got, you're missing weapons on offense, which is like one of the major sins that you could provide. Or that you could have as a, a theme team, and then your your defense. Even though you have Mariota, even though you ranked high in your mobile quarterback, um, your linebackers kind of suck. You can put Zach Brown out there, user him. Um, you got Jack Tatum. Your safeties are phenomenal, and that. But uh, your your secondary here, Dory Jackson's okay. Um, good pass rushers here on the edge there, but your interior pass rushers ain't great. So it's kind of like a stars and scrubs type of deal. Um, you got some absolute bonker stars. Maybe you can move Levy onto wide receiver. Um, Chris Johnson could be there too and just rumble Derrick Henry rumble uh, which which is totally fine but uh, that's why I'd rank the Titans uh, kind of usable they do have do have a few holes that I don't like to see so next up at 21 the Texans okay the Texans they're 92 overall so one of the lower overall teams now why did I rank the Texans so high they got a piss poor offensive line they better be good elsewhere T tight end also piss poor Watson top end quarterback you got Le'Veon Two top end receivers, especially with the speed boosts. Fuller's fast, also. Um, your defense is, is really nice there, rushing the passer. Clowney and Whitney are uh, the pass rushers, and then you have Watt on the inside. I guess you could put uh, Reader there too, and like a nickel. Your your DBs, Kareem, Boye, Jonathan, also pretty solid. So a uh, good, and then then uh, Tyron, you could put in the nickel formation too as a as a user or just a CPU player. Um, so. Overall, you, you got some playmakers. It's a little thin on depth, but I think at the top end of the guys that you'll be starting, as long as you can know how to scheme around and use the right scheme for this theme team, I think you're putting out there very talented players um, and, and some amongst the best players in the game. So that's why the Titans so high, but or Texans, and that's I, I can see the argument to lower them um, uh, versus some other ones. So maybe maybe the Texans are a little overrated at the moment on my list at least. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments. Number 20, Vikings. The Vikings hit number 20. You see a lot of negatives here. A lot of guys moving now. A lot of teams. There's some teams that improved massively. We're going to get to in a little bit. All right. So, Vikings. Um, 93 overall total. The line. You got a couple. You got like three minor holes here. Uh, that need to be filled. Rudolph is. Uh, um, big tall boy, though. Moss, Carter, Thielen, Diggs. Amazing wide receivers. Amazing quarterback. Uh, like everybody has good running backs. Um, your Harrison Smith will be moved over to strong safety, or or you can move Earl. Um, yeah, Kendrick's. Uh, y your linebackers are lacking talent outside of Bar, and your defensive line is studly. Right, you got Hunter, Randall, and then you go Joseph, Allen Page. You can put Allen Page out here instead of Griffin, and I won't be mad at you. Trey Waynes is fast, but he is dumb as a box of rocks. Uh, really, really. I don't know, doesn't put his fucking head in books or what always I don't know, something wrong mentally. Physically he's got everything though. Alright. That's why Vikings are number twenty for every team's got holes so far, right? Every team you've seen on this list has holes, and it makes sense. The Bears really took a tumble in my mind. Um uh, the Bears have 
one major flaw, you probably know it right off the top of your head right now, um, their kicker. I mean, their quarterback. A 92 Trubisky. Now, the theme team boosts his speed up a little bit, sure. But then you're, you're kind of looking at throw accuracy medium, throw accuracy deep, and you really don't want your quarterback to miss those kind of passes. So he, he does kind of take a big a boner kill. And I, I forgot to mention this earlier with the Mariotas of the world. Um, the spin move is super important for your quarterback if you consider him mobile. So that's why I consider the Mike Vick. And I think the McNabb is the only one else that hits the spin threshold. I think maybe Russell Wilson gets there with zone run on him. Um, but I, I think I think he does. So he's solid. So, but uh, yeah, so Trubo. You can hit low 90s. Right? Can you get sprinter on Trubo? Shoot. You can't get sprinter on Trubo. So even worse. 89 speed on the theme team. Your weapons are underwhelming uh, uh, to throw the ball, but you do have, obviously, good running backs. You got the Walter Payton. Your tight end, Greg Olson, is good. Man, I'm, are they mad that they let him go? Your tackles are, are, are pretty pretty big holes, too. I, I'd say, I always say minor holes with the 80s, but that's, that's you know, going against LT kind of a hole there. Um, Amos, Clinton Dix, and Thomas, great uh, safeties. Your linebacker core are to, is to die for. Maybe the best linebacker core in the game or close to it. And then your your uh, pass rushers, of course, are are are, are dominant. And then uh, one good corner is all you have. So the rest of them is yeah, they could piss off. Maybe sub and haha Clinton Dix a CB two or something. So that's that's it for the Bears. They they should be better. Um, it felt like they got cards every week during the season, but you know they uh, overall the team ended up with some major holes there too. So Panthers are going to be number eighteen. All right. So what does the Panthers have? Major hole at left tackle. Major hole at right guard. Uh, the rest of the offense line, fine. Great tight ends. Good weapons on the outside. DJ Morris, okay. Funches, okay. Running backs. Cam, Cam, I can't, once Cam gets a new card, then I, I might move them up. Uh, but right now, currently, this card, he was very inaccurate for me. I did not love it. Throughout medium, 85, 83 deep, 89 shorts, fine. Yeah, the throw power is fine on Cam, though, uh, especially if you cam that up. You have uh, a, safeties and secondary that have holes in them. Um, I, I could see ranking this a little bit lower, but I do love Julius Peppers here at, on this team. You saw it on the Bears, too. You'll see it on the Packers. Um, him as a user, is, it's very flexible. This is probably the most flexible card on defense. I, I don't know about most flexible on defense because he can't play middle linebacker. Um, but he's great for a user, great for pass, rushing the passer, great out there on his own, um, doing, doing as he does at his tall height and speed, good speed. So overall, good defensive line. Might be best to push him back to linebacker uh, and, and kind of use him and let Keekly and maybe Green do their own thing, maybe in a 3-4 if you could. Maybe put Don, Thomas Davis at middle linebacker too. So defense outside of secondary is good, and then you got good weapons on the outside. So that's that's kind of why I like the Panthers. It's because of the weapons on offense uh, to go around with everything. But I guess Cam is a little bit of a letdown. And, and maybe I could see lowering the Panthers a little bit until Cam gets a new card. Maybe Cam isn't the greatest for this moment. And maybe maybe I could, I could see him getting lower while the other guys that do have newer quarterback cards go higher. Um, so maybe that's kind of like a, a tra transition period for the Panthers. Next up is the Saints. The Saints, I mean... I could see the argument to put the Saints even lower than this, too, due to their immobile quarterback, due to their Drew Brees uh, behind the throne. Because in a, in a truly competitive environment, uh, a statue in the quarterback in the pocket. I'm going to keep the hitting that. It's tough. But otherwise, your offensive line, solid. Some minor holes here at right guard. Uh, your, your tight ends are great. Your wide receivers are great. Um, Taysom is, you know, whatever right there. So you got two good receivers. You could put Kamara out there. You could split Bell and Kamara out wide and run with Ricky, too. Always an option. Though their pass-catching stats aren't that great uh, compared to wide receivers. For some reason, they don't rank, give running backs pass-catching stats. I don't think it'd be overpowered if they did. Defense, you are you got two good safeties. Von Bell kind of lurking back there. Um, your, your cornerback, too, is Eli Apple. Anybody who's been a fan of football knows about Eli Apple's big struggles in the Big Apple I don't see what I did there. Your front front four are, are very solid. Leroy Glover, wasn't he limited? Isn't he expensive? But uh yeah, so a couple a couple major holes and an immobile quarterback. That's why the Saints are this low. They need they need somebody to be able to uh, boogie and groove. Alright, a team that the team that drastically improved since 
the uh, last rankings. Bucks went up six. Six points. So a lot of teams, most of these teams have negative. Most of them went down in the rankings. Giants went up a little bit. Most of them went down, though. We're finally getting to the, the teams that improve the most. So Buccaneers went up six spots. Now, why is the why are the Buccaneers that high? Well, they got playmakers, I guess, is the biggest the biggest portion of uh, the reason. But they have two major holes on the offensive line and a minor hole over here. I guess you said Dotson's a minor hole, too. Um, great tight end. Amazing playmakers at wide receiver. Amazing playmaking quarterback. Great fullback, running back combos there. Um, your defense is also studly. You got to move Levante David over to left outside linebacker. Um, and then you got some good 4-3 action there. Your, your biggest biggest uh, hole is going to be here at strong safety. Because you have three good corners. If you, like, if you go nickel formation, three good corners. Otherwise, if you play more of a 4-3 type set, you throw maybe Barber or Grimes, depending if you play cover 2 or 3. Throw one of them back there. Otherwise, Mike Evans patrolling the back is nothing nothing to be ashamed about. Six foot five. Put him there at the deep third. Yeah, and let, let him just pick dudes off. So pretty solid overall right there. Um, your your pass rusher with uh, Pierre Paul, McCoy, Vita Vey, maybe move McCoy out there to right end to just keep Curry there. But you're in a four three, so you're gonna need those two on the inside anyways. Um, so Buccaneers, very solid. Um, great offensive weapons is why they're ranked as high as they are, in my opinion. Fifteenth. All right. Falcons. We got the Falcons, boys. What are the Falcons up to at 94 overall? What do you got? So, major hole, minor hole, otherwise decent offensive line. 92 is, is pretty decent. Maybe fringe right now. Julio Jones, major weapon. Terrible, terrible. Um, pretty solid, but nothing really right home about. Amazing quarterback. Mike Vick, Michael Vick basically raised, him, raised his team this high, right? He put the team on his back, though. And then you got great safeties here. You can put him in at nickel, user him, or user Neil. And then you have uh, Deion Jones, who's a phenomenal user, too. Uh, Vondre Campbell. Harvest, he hasn't got a new card yet, huh? Um, Poe, Jarrett. And then uh, Vic Beasley's not that good. Irvin's okay. Um, and then you, you got good CBs, too. So solid all around. A couple holes there at, at wide receiver. And you got probably the best card in the entire game and Michael Vick on your roster, so it's hard to go wrong at that spot. All right, number 14. We are past halfway. Again, I apologize for how late or how long this is going. I hope maybe you guys are doing this in multiple batches. Um, if not, one viewing. One view, one view studs, we'll call you. Grind on through. You're a grooting grinder. You're a gut fox grinder right now. All right, so Packers. Major hole at right guard. And then solid across the board with, a, with a, a minor hole there at center. Great tight ends. High point, God, Graham. Um, great wide receivers. I think they can, all, they can get to 99 speed. Jordan Nelson, I don't think you get there. I think Skelding, you might want to put that, him instead of Nelson. But that's going to be your choice. Rodgers is, he's good. He's just not Aaron Rodgers in game right now. He, he, needs, he needs a new card, basically, for Aaron Rodgers to kind of uh, take this team to the next level. That's why I put him at 14 instead of any higher. Uh, but you got a good secondary. You got Amos. Earl Thomas, and maybe you can sub in HaHa and user him. Matthews is pass rusher. Nitschke, you got good linebackers over here. Some solid mid to low 90s linebackers. Um, so good secondary. Uh, you could sub in a say You can even put HaHa maybe at CB3 if you're running like a 3 through 5 or something, or just maybe a nickel um, if you don't put him in at linebacker. You got Peppers and then White over here to rush the passer. So you got a good three down lineman. Kenny Clark is like fringe average right now. So Packers all across the board are solid without any major holes except for the offensive line. Um, so that's what the Packers are that high, but they do need a new um, Rodgers card to really go up to uh, the next level. 13, we put Jets here. Now you're going to realize, like, I know Lobo's going to be pissed, but like, Jets! Jets are great! They got Mike Vick, they got everything, and I'm not going to argue with you. Jets have a phenomenal team. But every team from here on out is, like, amazing. Like, every team, I think once, once we get to this Jets roster... I mean, throughout this whole thing, you can make a lot of great arguments to move cards up and down. But throughout this whole thing, like this Jets, you got a minor hole at right tackle. That's it. Otherwise, the rest of the line is very good. The biggest issue right here is the tight end. I can't, I can't fuck with no, no tight ends, right? He's got to be. On, he's almost always on the field. I don't run the spread playbook. I almost always run the tight end. And a guy like this, that's rough. Maybe, maybe you go into the Pats playbook and you run with a running back at tight end. Maybe you could, you can do that one glitch to get Chris Johnson there. And that's fine. Or you can go to my Titans ebook and I show you how to. No, oh, I know I haven't done that yet. I'll show you how to put in a, a wide receiver at tight end in my tight flex there. It's not too hard. I think it's shown elsewhere on the internet. 
Uh, but yeah, you do have the best quarterback in the game. Well, him and Lamar basically split it right now. Uh, on theme teams, you can argue McNabb's there too. So tied for the best quarterback in the game right now. Um, on theme teams, Johnson, Roberts, Roby, um, all fast top end guys. You can also put Johnson somewhere, mix in Ladanian and uh, Chris. Your defense, you got Mosley. Mosley there, Williamson. So your linebackers are good. I like them across the board. You got good secondary. You could throw in Ed Reed for like CB3. And then uh, you got good defensive linemen. So I would say across the board, great. Great, great, great. You can do a lot of great things with this squad. I, I would mainly hang a nickel in this in this thing because you have such great um, safeties. I'd mainly be in a nickel package. But yeah, you, you're kind of missing a little bit of playmaking tools right here. So you're limiting yourself unless, unless you do some sort of glitch to get a running back there or wide receiver at tight end or just don't use tight ends at all, then maybe you could scheme the Jets to be the best. But That's the issue. Redskins, they moved up a tremendous amount. Uh, like It's amazing what a couple power-ups will do to move a, move a theme team up up the up the board. So, Redskins. This is, this is dastardly. The silver center. The thing is, I'd rather have a hole at center than at tackle. Tackles are on an island. Centers can get double, will double team sometimes. So, if they're sending a heavy blitz, He's going to get almost insta-shedded. He's terrible, which kind of sucks. And there is, isn't really much to sub in there. But otherwise, top-tier tight end, maybe a what, top five, top three tight end in the game. Wide receivers, top-tier, top-tier. They're, they're short, but they're fast. Le'Veon Bell, obviously, Donovan McNabb, what I, I said, they're great up there on a theme team, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Your secondary is bonkers. You can go just be in nickel, nickel packages, subbing these guys. Maybe put your uh, two guys here. Maybe Dion and Green at your safeties, or or maybe not. But then put Sean Earl or uh, whatnot at, at linebacker in like a nickel, and just go to town with them. Jason Taylor, Deacon Jones, Mario Addison. Move Deacon into to a defensive tackle. Maybe Deron Payne down to number two, and then Addison at their outside backer. So overall, I like I like I like the Redskins roster a lot. A lot of playmakers, and uh, you can't really be mad at that. So that that tight end right there, that is the diff like the differences between these teams are are, are kind of minor right now. Um, all right, number eleven, the Ravens. They moved up one spot too, and you're like, wow, after that roster, how do they get better? Well, obviously having a better center will make them better. But uh, Ravens. All right, you got a major hole at center, just like the last team, the Jets. No, sorry, Redskins. Two great tight ends, so you can sub in Clark. For like Sneed here, you get an amazing wide receiver. You know, two other whatever wide receivers. Lamar Jackson tied for the best quarterback on theme teams in the game. Um, him, Vic, and McNabb, like I talked about. You could say Mahomes is up there. I don't put Mahomes on the same level as those guys though, because he can't get 99 speed. Um, top end running back, like I talked about, great fullbacks for lead the way and shit. Ed the Ed Reed, Weddle, Earl Thomas, and then you have amazing, amazing linebackers here on the Ravens. So you're very scheme flexible. Your only issues are your defensive linemen. So what you'll end up doing is putting Suggs and probably Matthew Jude on there at the ends. You'll probably move them down. Put Mosley out there at outside linebacker. And then Zadarius. Oh, he didn't, didn't Zadarius get a new card? I don't recall. Maybe he doesn't have a power-up. Once he gets a power-up, maybe that's it. But then you could go on Nickel and sub in Weddle. But otherwise, you could put Rod Woodson. You can put Rod Woodson back at free safety. Melvin, Jimmy, and then put Earl Thomas in a nickel package too. But overall, just across the board, they don't have many holes that you can't fill. And uh, the only one would be that center spot. Um, and, and maybe a lack of playmakers in offense. But otherwise, the Ravens just out-talent people there on the defensive side of the ball. So, number 10. This, one took a, this team took a little bit of a tumble from the last one. The Raiders! The Raiders got a lot of love right before they did my last one, but then kind of have not had a ton of it since. So... Uh, major, major hole. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Major hole at left tackle. Major hole at right guard. And a minor hole at right tackle. Um, probably the best tight end in the game at uh, that tight end right there. Jerry Rice, amazing playmakers at wide receiver. And Moss will probably get an ultimate legend soon. Hopefully. Carr is what sinks this team along with the offensive lineman. Carr is just not good enough right now. Um, so Carr sucks. Your defense is great, though. Tatum, you move him over strong safety. Um... Like love the linebackers, defensive line. You got Long and Mac. Love them. 
Cornerbacks, very good too. All right. So that's why I put the Raiders at 10. Overall, uh, once they once they fill out a couple of spots, maybe they get a couple more Ultimate Legends. I don't know which they, what, what they would be or, or, or whatnot. Or maybe just upgrades to the regular cards. Then they'll be in the upper echelons. Or maybe Carr needs an upgrade to be there. But overall, that's kind of where I put them right now, at number 10. And, and that might even be generous uh, with, with, with Carr issues. All right, the Cowboys at number 9. So the Cowboys, eh? Major hole left guard, solid rest of the rest across the board. But you could put in Zach Martin at left guard to kind of conceal that. So no major holes on the offensive line. First time you can say that. Terrible tight ends. We need a Witten card ASAP. Uh, Cooper phenomenal. Keyshawn phenomenal. Owens Cobb great themselves. Great running back. Dak is what holds this whole team back. Once Dak gets probably once Dak gets like a 98 overall card, maybe this is top five theme team if not higher. Well, you'll need a tight end. Dak and Witten. And then you guys have, I'd say, I'd say uh, top four theme team. You got Lawrence there that can rush the pass. You can move him. You got Van Der Esch, Ware. So it'll be basically Ed two tall defensive tackle. Lawrence in Ware with uh, in like a 4-3. Put Leighton Van Der Esch, Sean Lee, and then Jalen Smith in the middle. Um, it, it's kind of where you're going to put the most. So if you're playing a 4-3, you put Deion Sanders there at strong safety. Or you move him to outside. Something like that. I'd probably put Deion Sanders at safety. And then you have a top tier defense. But yeah, like I said, the Dak and the uh, Blake are holding you holding you guys back. Those are your holes that are keeping you from a, like a top five squad. Number eight, the Broncos. All right. I feel like you guys know a lot. Of, well, because I've gone through a lot of these teams, you guys know what what's coming up later. Who, who, who the rest of them are left. But we'll keep going one by one, breaking them down. Major hole at right guard. Minor hole at center and left guard. Tight ends are, are just grand. Your wide receivers are playmakers. Um, good stuff. I like running with Emmanuel Sanders, my Steelers theme team. He, he does so much work. Um, great running backs. John Oway is good enough. Um, now, maybe he isn't fast enough for you now. Only gets to 86 speed. Your linebackers, though. Woo! Gorgeous. Great, great sa uh, safeties and great uh, corners. Maybe your nickel isn't good enough, but you can always sub in like Simmons or or Atwater there if you're going to blitz them. Uh, but then, like, yeah, some of these linebackers will have to play um, defensive line like a, a nickel or something to get to get all your talent on the field. So all around a well-rounded offensive or defensive squad with maybe a couple holes on offense that you need to work around. Um, and, and, and Elway and uh, a couple of those holes are the reason why it isn't any higher. Seahawks. Now you got Russell Wilson leading the way here. With, with the Seahawks theme team. And, and truly, he does kind of need a new card. He's a little bit out of date right now, out of meta. Uh, 96 overall is pretty good, but that should be his next card. should be like a 99. Cement them at, in the top 10 all year with, with a quarterback like that. So you have an issue with your right guard and right tackle. You got a great tight end. Your, your wide receivers are very good. Your running back's good. Your fullback, Franco Harris, can essentially move him. You can, Franco Harris is probably the most versatile tool on offense. Uh, he's probably my favorite running back in the game on a theme team. 98 speed with his like break tackle and, and weight. Um, he's also one of my favorite tight ends with 98 speed tight end on a theme team. And then their defense. Got a bunch of ballers there. You can move Malcolm over. Um, you got good secondary players. Your only issue is you don't really have a lot at, at CB2 or 3. Um, they're good, but like not good enough. And then they got a good defensive line here. So Frank Clark, Randall. Uh, maybe, maybe not a left end. Maybe I take all that back. They they do have a hole at end and, and CB, but otherwise their offense is uh, pretty shiny. Number six on the list, Eagles. Eagles they of ninety five overall. Um, major hole here left guard, tight end great. Ertz uh, Ertz doesn't have good carrying. I always hated Ertz's card, but so maybe just above average for Ertz. Like I said, best quarterback that you can possibly have. They've got two of them. So if you want a lefty or a righty, they have the flexibility. Phenomenal wide receivers. Just, wow. Secondary, three studs at safety. Chuck is, like, they're all okay. They're linebacker. I'd say above average, though. Defensive line, it's glorious. Long and curse. And then you have uh, terrible cornerbacks dragging the whole team down. 
You could argue the Eagles should be lower due to their cornerbacks. Like, I'll argue you could put, like, maybe uh, Dawkins to cover one of them. But, yeah, that's 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 really rough. For the amount of the amount of absolute offensive explosion I loved out of this team, like, the offense is the reason they ranked this high, right? They have bombastic playmakers there. But their defense kind of lets you down. But I do like offense better than defense in this game, not like the real NFL. All right. Because defense is inconsistent no matter who you have out there. Like, I've seen players, Deion Sanders, make terrible plays, miss passes, dive, and, and like, swat and completely whiff and it doesn't really make a difference all right so chiefs are next what do you got chief whoops all right what do you got chief a major hole left guard rip a pretty major one at right guard otherwise the rest are fine two great tight ends you got a playmaker here in tyree conley and watkins are fast but they don't get sprinter Mahomes is a top-tier quarterback. Foles is whatever. Uh, good running backs. Whatever for Sherman. Great safeties. Linebackers there. Very solid across the board. And, uh, yeah, corners. Defensive line, I guess I, I guess you're missing a spot. So you want to go like a nickel, a nickel 2-4-5, something like that, where you have your Houston and Ford rushing the passer with Jones and Poe on the inside. And then you'll have Thomas, Barry, maybe Tyron there at nickel CB. Yeah, and then, then basically you have upper 90s across the board on the field. Um, and that's kind of what you want to, you really need to go with, right? I guess you'll use her like Hitchens, whoever's fastest in here. Sorensen. But your offense, like I said, maybe, maybe you're missing a couple playmakers there and maybe I should lower the Chiefs, but I like what they can, I like what they can bring on the field. I like, I like their all-aroundness. The their homes kind of sealed it for me. So that's why I put them at number five. Number four is a team near and dear to my heart and somebody that ro rolls up the ranking so goddamn high. It is amazing. They they really fleshed out a lot of their issues on the Steelers theme team. Some of the power-ups they got, the, the free agents. Resigning Ramon Foster was huge. Let's go to it. All right, so no holes on the offensive line. You can even move, even before Ramon Foster got signed, you can move Pouncey out there too. So you got a great offensive line and a back of offensive line. Tight ends, it's going to be Franco Harris. Franco Harris, a 98 speed tight end. You, you, the only reason you want to put Jesse James in there is for a high point catch. All right, so that's the big, that's the only weakness they have on offense are high point catches. But they got guys that have the spec catches, just not tall enough. These guys all, I believe, all hit 99 speed. Maybe Juju's 98. No, he can get a physical. So he gets to, yeah, he gets to 99. So all of them are 99 on the theme team. So 399 speed receivers, great running backs, LeGarrette Blunt. They're not even showing um, Bettis, who will probably get a new card soon. We haven't gotten one for a while. Best quarterback in the game. Uh, so all, their offense is, is is dynamic. The only issue is, like, even though I say it's not a bad offensive line, you know, you know, Beecham and, and Gilbert, especially Gilbert's going to get beat up a lot, but offensive line blocking is still random as fuck. The biggest issue on the Steelers' theme team is a strong safety. It's the only place they have a hole in the entire roster. Is strong safety, but this guy gets the 96 speed. Sean Davis is 96 speed. He's six foot two. So what what I end up doing is put Joe Hayden at strong safety, and uh, move Edmonds. Oh no, put and then. Sh All right, so yeah, Hayden goes to strong safety because he has over 90 zone coverage, man, and and he's fast. I think Sean Davis goes down to uh, CB three, and he's more like CB blitzer. But then you have pass rushers, Green, TJ Watt. 99 finesse on both of them. I think Green has high power move block shed too. Mean Joe Green. Cameron Hayward's a good pass rusher. I let TJ Watt. Actually, I don't rush TJ Watt. I let him do his thing because he's got over 90 zone coverage too. And he's tall, 6 foot 4, and he's fast. Over 90, I think it's 92 to 94 speed, somewhere in there. Bud Dupree's a good user too. Tall, fast, 98 jumping. And we all know the power of the Shaz. Then two great corners. We just got the blunt today. I'll show gameplay of that on my second channel. So, uh, overall. Steelers, because of the power-ups they got, because they got the TJ Watt, because they were able to sign some guys, especially the Sanders um, and Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas alone, I think, boosted this theme team up probably eight spots. Earl Thomas, because of how bad the free safety and strong safety were, that's how powerful just that card alone was to the Steelers theme team. All right. 
Going on to number three, I couldn't objectively put the Steelers above the 49ers. The 49ers have had a top-tier theme team from day one. Day one! It's because of uh, Ronnie Lott that, that, and a lot of their, you know, the Moss and the Playmakers and stuff. So, for the 49ers, major hole, major hole. So, they don't have the, the all-around line that the uh, Steelers do. But they have three great tight ends. But all receivers are great. I guess good ones. Whatever. Great running backs. Great quarterback, fullback. Your secondary is stacked. Ronnie Lott could summon it at, at, uh, in nickel packages to linebacker. Sanders, Woodson, Sherman. Maybe move Woodson to the outside, Sherman to the inside. You got Bryant Young here too. Arik. I guess you put Bryant Young maybe at the edge in like a 3-4. If you go like a 3-4... Yeah, I guess you, you, you're one you're one linebacker short of being great. But you, you'd want to be in a nickel package, right, in this lineup? You'd have pass rushing green, um, then Buckner, and like a, a nickel normal. Then you'd have those four pass rushing with Romanowski and Lott, a, a linebacker. Yeah, so overall defense is great. Offense is got Like, there's, there's, no, there's no huge holes there except for the offensive line on the Niners. You can scheme around everything they got. All right, number two, the Rams. These guys haven't changed at all either. Like, looking at the Rams and then the next team, it, it, it's truly sickening. Especially the number one team. You guys know who it is. Great tackles. Interior is very solid, too, on the offensive line. Uh, great tight end. Number one tight end in the game, in my opinion, right now. Cooks, Woods, Foles. Foles and his immobility is why I can see people making the argument that they'd rather play with the Niners, Steelers, Chiefs, Eagles those theme teams over this one because of Foles and Goff. Um, choose, pick your poison. They're both like low 80s speed quarterbacks. So maybe you want a guy that can run around 99, but Todd Gurley is, is probably there with Walter Payton as a favorite uh, running back in the game. Um, like I said about the wide receivers, great. Your secondary, you got LaMarcus Jordan just chilling there. Very good linebackers there. And you play like a nickel. Probably a nickel probably and Kevin Green is a pass rusher. Sorry for yawning, I'm tired. Deacon Jones is like an interior rusher. Aaron Donald and Kevin Green coming from the other side is sick. Your CBs are wonderful too. Um, so overall, that's why the Rams are so high because they, they have a lot of great players that they can play a nickel package amazing well. And they even play like a 3-4, 4-3 four, good too. Probably more of a, what do you think, a 3-4 team? Yeah, probably more of a 3-4. Uh, I don't know, maybe 4. I'd say 4-3 to get Chris, to get those four linemen on the field. Yeah, play a 4-3, but then you got Kevin Green out there in a 4-3. Oof. That's a tough decision. The fi play the 52, right? Again, you got you just got an embarrassment of riches as the Rams defense. Uh, but in your offense is only missing a mobile quarterback. Sick. Just sickening. And the number one team, Taiwan. Well, actually, wait, no, no, no. They can't be ranked. They're above the entire list. The number one NFL team is the Patriots. Now, I know how much everybody hates the Patriots because of their success and uh, the way they've achieved it over the years. But you can't deny the cards they've gotten in Mutt as being uh, making their number one. Linemen across the board. I don't know how they keep finding these guys. These left tackles specifically. How they keep making them great. Gronk. Great, especially with the boosts. I mean, he's maybe not as good as uh, Cook, in my opinion, because he's still a little slower than you like to see. But, you know, look at look at your wide receiver core. Randy Moss is your fourth. Tom Brady is the only issue on the team. Tom Brady is the only issue on the team. And he's a 96 overall. You just can't, you just can't run very well. I mean, this is disgusting, right? The amount of cards, like, sheared. Many theme teams would be lucky to have a sheared. It's like a backup, like the fourth guy at defensive end that they got. Sick. Absolutely sickening looking at this Patriots roster. Devin McCourty, yeah. So, that's the ranking of the theme teams. We'll go through it again. Um, did, you guys, did you see that all? No, maybe not. Wait, wait. Yeah, there are Cardinals, Jags, Bengals. You can read. I think overall... It takes me a while to put it together. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any disagreements with any uh, placements here. The Steelers and the Redskins are the high risers. Bucks went up a bit. Um, but let me know. How's your theme team working out that you're using right now? Uh, but that's it for the video. 
Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.